Hello, in this video we'll demonstrate how to create a duct system. I will insert an handling unit in the model and then draft the ducts from this handling unit. But before, if we access the building function, in the tab airflow requirements we see the zones that I have previously defined. And I will insert this handling unit just for this supply zones that I have, have here defined and calculated. We see that uh, the required volume flow for this zone is 3306 cubic meters per hour. So this is what we use as a source. Okay. If we access now the handling unit function, I will access the generic filter and then extract supply subfilter. Here we see some generic handling units in which we see the maximum volume flow they can supply. Like in this case, this one is the maximum volume flow of 4000 cubic meters per hour. This is totally fine for the zone. So I'll click OK. I will insert this handling unit in a reference as ceiling and with an offset over the ceiling of 20 centimeters. Okay, so click OK. Now to insert the object in the model, we'll rotate it. So I have the small spigot to the right and I'll position it in the center of this corridor. Left click to position the object, okay? Now I will start drafting the duct. So I will activate the function duct and I'll move my cursor close to this spigot. When it's highlighted, I can start uh, it recognizes the connection as we see it's a, a handy unit supply supplier 302 uh, 326 by 326 millimeters size okay so to for for the connection to be recognized the function uses smart snaps that we found that we find in the bottom left can be activated, deactivated, or with the shortcut number three. So coming back here, when it's highlighted, we left click, okay? And the duct already starts to be, can, can be already be uh, drafted. In another case, if it opens the product database, you can just click to, to start the duct that is uh, selected, okay? So I will move my, my cursor until, until it goes between these two lines of her handling uh, of her terminals. Left click to insert a band and I'll move up until close to this window facade. Left click and right mouse click so I can insert any of these components. In this case I will end with a lid and the shortcut is the S key. Okay, so just click OK here. All right, now I still have my duct function active. If it's not active for you, you have to activate it again. I move my cursor to this vertical duct segment and it should be highlighted, okay? And I will left click again and this T dialog is opened. By default, it's showing a circular spigot to be inserted or color settle. To change the type of T, we access the product database by clicking on the three dots button. And in this case, I want, I want to insert a rectangular collar, uh, collar saddle or rectangular spigot, like this. This is a free one, meaning when we click OK, we could deactivate these automatic values and we could uh, manually edit all the values. But right now, I won't change anything. I'll just create, insert the duct uh, with a default size. So I'll click OK and move this new duct segment till it crosses the diffusers on the right. Left click to end the segment. And if you like, right mouse click and end with the lid. Okay. Now I will press escape to close the function and I will select this duct segment on the right, this branch, so I can use the function repeat branch. So you left click here and I'll select the first 
option which is insert in existing net same twist. So with this first option active, I'll click OK and I move my cursor where I would like to insert this branch. So I'll left click here, okay? And I will do the same for all these gaps between the diffusers and then at the last one here, okay? Now I'll press escape. If you'd like to reposition these branches, you can get closer and click on the spigot. You'll see a node in the middle of the main duct. So you click on the, on the node and you can reposition it, like in the center here, okay? All right, now, as we can see, we have some diffusers on the left, on these two rooms. I will create another, uh, repeat the branch again. So I'll left, uh, left click this duct segment and activate the repeat branch function once more. But this time I will select the second option, which is insert an existing at opposite twist. Okay, so when I click here, as you can see, it goes to the opposite side. Now, it, I would have to increase the, the length of this duct. So left click and click on the last node and move to it crosses all the, 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 the diffusers, okay? Now, for these two diffusers on the bottom, I will activate the duct function once more and move closer to the band. When the band is highlighted, left click, and it's converted to a T. If you'd like to use another T type, you would have to open the, the product database again. But in this case, I will just let set as it is with this exit as main and click OK. Left click here, insert another band and end at the end uh, by after crossing the two diffusers and end with the lid. All right, so I have finished the layout of this duct system. Let's see the result in 3D.